Hey guys, this is John. I'm back again. You know, it's very interesting to me that oftentimes people will, will ask the same question in clusters. So I'll get like one person will ask it, and the next person will ask it, and the next person will ask it, and the next person will ask it. So I'll get this, like this just sudden cluster of the same question. And I, I find it fascinating because, I mean, somewhere in the in the collective consciousness, this question has arisen, and now people are asking it. Uh, I got it again this morning, and I wanted to to go ahead and bring it out and and talk about it. And the que- this is the way it was it was phrased this morning. It was me. Why did John say he was the disciple whom Jesus loved? I've got the question. Why is he known as John the Beloved? Um, and it's really an interesting thing, you know. John says, I am the disciple who, whom Jesus loved, not out of vanity, but out of the fact that I you know I feel honored that Jesus loved me. He also loved everybody else around. But I feel honored that I knew this man and I am someone that he loved. You know. The other thing is my memory of Jeshua is very interesting because it really was like a very good best friend. It was very, very close. And, um, for instance, uh, I know people who, in their memory, remember him, remember calling him Isa, which was his well, nickname for him, Isa, which is also in the Quran they refer to him as Isa, and in India they refer to him as Isa. Um, but I remember referring to him as Yesh, and so I had this <laughs> this different sort of relationship with him. Um, we were best, we were like best friends, so very close, very close. Um, I've also had people who have come to me who um, really want to write the history to to justify their lives, right? And I've had people say to me, well, they, they must have been lovers. I was like, it doesn't say that anywhere. You know, you know and then another one, who, who had a um, a psychic tell him that that uh, the reincarnation of John the Beloved was going to be his soulmate, and um, he came expecting, you know, me to fall in love with him, and it just, you know, he he wasn't real excited because that's about the fact that I had just gotten married to a, a lovely woman, <laughs> um, so it was very, it was very disappointing for that person. Um, and and in that moment, they were like, "Well, why, you know, why aren't you following your heart?" And I said, "I am following my heart. You're following misinformation." Um, the interesting thing that, about the beloved thing is, I look at it from a couple different perspectives. I truly believe that the Jeshua loved me, but I believe he loved Peter and and you know Timothy and you know all the rest. You know. And I also believe that that there was a, a, a very special closeness there. Um, I remember that I used to go ahead of, I, we would come, we would travel, and we would come to a, the outskirts of a town, and I would go forward into the town, and I would find sometimes lodging, sometimes people just to talk to, I'd find out whether it was safe to go in there. Um, so I would go ahead to make sure he was safe. And that was, my, that was my thinking. I'm there to make sure he is taken care of and he is safe because I, I love this man I, and he is, my, he is my everything, right? Um, John never even took a, a wife or, or, or had kids because everything was about what he was learning and what he was being taught and the teachings. Everything was about the teachings. In my regression, when I met Jeshua, he walked up to me, he put his hand out, he placed it on my heart, and I felt unconditional love. He delivered that to me. I am the one that he loved. He loved me by letting me experiencing, experience unconditional love. He did that for many people. Right, he did that for lots of people. He showed them all. But I am one that 
I absolutely have that memory. Still to this day, I have that memory because of my past life regression. So why, why does he refer, say he's the one that Jesus loved? Because Jesus loved him. And it was that impactful and that personal for him. It was not out of vanity. It was not out of trying to um, say that we're lovers or anything. It was just the fact that I, I unconditional love is not gender-based. Unconditional love is in all directions. As I've often said, love in any form is never wrong if it's love. And so uh, John truly felt that way. Now, on the other side of this, think about everything I talk about in these videos. Everything I talk about in these videos is about being love. You know, live loving, be love, be love, right? So, John the be love, Ed. You know, John the be love, John the be love. You know, that's what the, this is really talking about. Is is the message, the core essence of it all is be love and. Jesus is the one who, you know, Jesus, Yeshua is the one who showed me that. My little Catholic up, popped in there for a second. He's the one who showed me that. You know, he, is, he loved me and showed me that. And so it's a, it, I guess the point of the matter is, is, is it's a personal reference. You know, it's not saying I'm different or better than anybody else or he was different or better, better than anyone else. He was saying I was great, <laughs> I'm grateful and I'm lucky enough that Jesus showed me that unconditional love. I'm the, I'm the disciple that he loved, you know. And it was not about just me. He loved everybody, he, and, he, and he gave everyone that experience. Um, but it really comes down to the idea that that, that love is so, is so permeated John's life, Johannes Ben Zebedee's life, that it was the biggest moment of his life. It was the moment of, oh, oh, he loved me. Oh, I am experiencing this unconditional love. And so it wasn't about setting himself apart or being different or being you know, greater than or, or, you know, or putting others below him. It was all about the amazement of the love that he received from Jeshua. And that's why he refers to him as the disciple whom Jesus loved. You know, other disciples might have said the same thing, right? They might have said, "Yeah, I'm. I he loved me. He, I'm. I'm one of the ones he loved, right?" So, I really wouldn't get dive too deeply into putting an egoic story around it, or justify lifestyles around it. I would just say this is a person who had a huge experience with the love of Jeshua, and he felt it personally, and that's what it means. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.